Uh, real quick, time for devlog number nine, I guess. Uh, so this is stage two in its current state. No background details, no boss, whatever. It just ends when you get to the end of the stage. There's no boss or anything. And this stage is much shorter than stage one in terms of size, I guess. And it has much less to it overall. But that's because the boss is way more complex to make. And I want most of the normal levels to have the same amount of effort put into them. You know, so I'm not spending... So the point is that the scope of the game doesn't get crazy by the end of it. The last level or two will be way more in-depth, more than likely. But I kind of want things to, you know, be balanced throughout. So stage one should have as much effort put into it as stage two. Even though stage two is shorter, it's a lot more complex, if that makes sense. Because <clears throat> we have a new enemy type, the Lasser, which is short for Lacerate. As you can see, she has two moves, which is the headbutt and the cleaver slam thing. The cleaver slam, after she does that, uh, she stops moving for a little bit. It's a random amount of time, but it can be anywhere from half a second to three seconds. And the headbutt does not have any sort of period after it where she pauses. And as you can see, she uses these attacks regardless of your proximity to her. Uh, unlike the Bone Hermit, which has to be right up in your face to use its slash. Uh, bo both of her moves can occur completely independently of where you are. <clears throat> and her knockback resistance is higher than the Bone Hermit's. It's four, so that doesn't really mean anything because the kick still does like five. So I'm going to probably up her to up her so the kick doesn't uh, do knockback to her, you know, where she's a much more complex enemy than the Bone Hermit. I feel like, you know, she should have uh, higher knockback resistance, but whatever. <clears throat> and you have two up here. And yes, this is technically the only new enemy type for the stage. Another reason why there's a delay after the uh, cleaver slam is to give you time to like, you know, uh, to, not to give you time, to make sure they separate. It's a random amount of time uh, after the cleaver slam where they have a grace period. So I'm just going to run back through. Uh, <clears throat> it's a random amount of time, as you can see. So they could uh, stop really soon after the attack, or they could stop uh, a while after it. It's the set that starts separating them so their hitboxes aren't like right on top of each other. And the headbutt, as you can see, they don't stop moving while they use it. They continue moving. It's not like they stop moving, use it, and then keep moving at all. They'll use it while still moving left. It doesn't halt their momentum at all. They'll keep going while using it. As you can see, one of them just used it while the other wasn't using it, and they kept up with each other. So that's how the uh, headbutt works. The slam, obviously, they stop completely. And up here is where the boss would be. If there was a boss, actually, as you can see, it's more open than the rest of the stage because the boss will be much larger than the standard enemies you fight. Uh, I'm not going to say anything about the boss other than it's going to have more moves than Vindictus. Uh, duh. The goal is for it to have about four moves, maybe three. I don't know, but I have some of them mapped out. And I know this is a smaller devlog. These are going to be smaller than Rise devlogs were for the most part where it's piece by piece. You know, it took eight devlogs to finish the first level, seven devlogs to completely finish the first stage of this game, and a lot of those were very small bits of progress. That theme is going to continue throughout uh, this series of devlogs, as opposed to Rise, where it just got done super fast after the first bit of the game was done. After that first chunk was done, you know, progress sped up. And this will definitely speed up a lot more, but... It's a lot more complex than Rise because, you know, gravity's an element here, and it really wasn't in Rise. There's a lot more variables here is what I'm saying, and I have to account for, you know, hitboxes that aren't broken beyond belief, uh, unlike Rise. So that's what we have so far, and yes, only one new enemy type for this level. Whatever. 